Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back to Cherokee's channel. You see what time it is. It is lunch time. Now, today I'm only going to do uh, lunch because I have to go get some cooking oil. I'm going to fry some chicken later. Chicken wings at that. And then um, I have a taste for some devil eggs. And I want to show you guys how my eggs turn out, how pretty yellow they are. And uh, what you can do when your eggs, you know, is a little grayish looking, you know, uh, uh, like Jasmine's eggs was. But actually, I'm not going to let mine cook like that because I really think she cooked her eggs too long and her pot was too small. And she had too many eggs in her one pot. So I'm going to let this water go ahead and get bubbly and happy. And then we're going to put some eggs in there. Actually, I'm going to put my eggs in there now. I just need my other hand to do it. Okay, I got my eggs in the water. So we're going to go ahead and let that get bubbly and happy. These are the eggs that I am using. I have my bowl to mix the yolk. And I'm also going to have some sweet uh, relish, paprika, black pepper. Of course, we need mayo. I have jalapenos back there, not to put on top, but on the side if I want them, and mustard. So, this is all what I will be using. Oh, and I will be using a little sugar. I forgot to grab that, but let's go ahead and get these eggs all bubbly and happy. I only let my eggs boil for 7 to 8 minutes, no longer. The eggs in there all bubbly and happy. I mean, they all getting down together. So let's go ahead, turn them off, pour the hot water off. What I do is I pour cold water on top of my eggs and then I peel them. After I pull, peel my eggs, I do not put them in no ice uh, bowl. That, no, no, you don't do. You don't have to do that. Okay, sis, as you can see, I peeled my um, eggs. And you can see how beautiful the yolk is, all pretty and yellow. Now, I could leave it just like this and um, let it cool down because you see the smoke, the steam. Or I could go ahead and, you know, Take the yolk out and put it in my bowl. So, I can't do it with two hands because I'm holding this. So, I'm going to have to put it down and do it. But, I'm going to put the take the yolk out and put it in my bowl. Okay, I just put my phone on a tripod so I can show you guys. So, what I do is I take a spoon and I go in. And, you don't even have to dig yet. You just go in. And turn it like that. Voila. There's your yolk. And see how beautiful and yellow that is. My jazzy life must have overcooked her eggs. Or she had them too many in there at one time. In the pot. The pot wasn't big enough. Knowing her, the kids probably was distracting her, so she overcooked them. So, just like that. Now, unless her eggs was rotten or something. But, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And I'm going to mix up my yolk. That'll happen sometime. That's okay. That will happen. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything and I'll be right back. Hope you guys can see. Look how beautiful and yellow that is. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix everything. I do add a little sugar in mine, you guys. I had to borrow some for my daughter because y'all know big sis. She does not buy sugar. I don't really use sugar in my house, so I put a little bit in there. And 
And some people like theirs with a lot of mayonnaise and stuff. I don't. And I'm going to show you what it's looking like. I'm going to have to turn you guys around. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Looking like potato salad, right? But like I said, I can't do this with one hand. So, now I'm about to stuff my um, my yolk back in the egg. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that with two spoons. Or you could do it in a baggie like Jazzy did, but I'm not going to do that. So, let's go ahead. You know, presentation is everything up over here. <laughs> you already know. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting it back. And then I don't like mine over stuff neither. So what I do is I take two spoons Like I said, I don't like mine over stuffed. You know, like some people do. And then I just take it and smash it down like that. Get them all in there stuffed first. See, when you got little kids, you probably don't have time for all of this because it <laughs> you need patience when you're cooking, you know, stuff like this. So you have to have patience. So What I'm not going to do is put no jalapenos on top. Uh, what I would do is chop the jalapenos up inside, you know, like that. We already know that that one broke down. Sometimes it can get messy, but it's got to have patience. Put them all together like that. Well, they keep sliding. Let me wash my hands. Hold on, you guys. I'm looking for... You already know. My parsley. Because, you know, like I said, presentation is everything. And I'm going to go ahead and put some black pepper in my hand. It's okay. This is mine. So, if I was doing this for a lot of people, I'd have gloves on. So don't be spooked. It's okay. Okay. Then I would do the same. Uh-oh. Lost one. With the paprika. Wash my hands. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on a separate plate and I'll be right back. 
And there you have it. I all played it. I put it in a bowl so it won't be keep slipping and sliding like it was on the plate. And I have put my parsley and my smoked paprika on top. And I do have jalapenos on the side. Okay. Now, me normally, I will cut my jalapenos up and put them inside the uh, egg yolk and mix it all like that. Or, I will do olives. Chopped olives at that. So, now I have made my little lunch. You guys like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me how you like my, uh, my devil eggs. And I'll see you guys on the next cook with me. Like, comment, and share. Leave, um... Leave, yeah, leave your comment. I said that already, right? Okay, well, there's a lesson to learn. That was Jasmine's first time ever making double eggs. Uh, next time, I'm sure she know not to put her eggs in ice water. You know what I'm saying? So, till next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, I can't wait to tear you apart.